disobedience and through ignorance so the first step in deliverance is casting out devils do you see that casting out devils is not deliverance casting out devils is part of deliverance there is a difference between deliverance and casting out devils casting out devils is a subset of deliverance just because you have casted out devils does not mean you have administered deliverance is someone learning is God giving us wisdom we generally say I have been delivered and in that you are right but theologically speaking casting out demons or the spirit influence behind individuals behind conditions behind states is only one of the aspects let's look at a few scriptures mark chapter 1 the ministry of jesus is god helping us let's rush mark chapter 1 from verse 22 mark chapter 1 from verse 22 the bible says they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority listen this is the first miracle of jesus according to the synoptic account of mark the bible says as one that had authority and not as the scribes 23 and there was in their synagogue now are you seeing this now the man with an unclean spirit do you think he came to church believing he had an unclean spirit was he acting like a man with an unclean spirit he came as a very faithful congregant and he sat quietly but the bible says that man had an unclean spirit and he cried out the spirit not the man next verse saying let us alone so you, you know that that man was heavily under the influence of spirits let us alone what have we to do with you thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us i know who thou art can you imagine that demons know jesus more than believers in an instant they knew without confusion you are the holy one of god 25 this is the first recorded activity of casting out demons by jesus remember i taught you that until jesus showed up they had never seen casting out demons by a name no it had never happened for a man to use his authority and rebuke a spirit demons had left people they left in worship in the case of david and in most cases they will stone the person who the demons possess so that if that body dies the spirit will struggle to look for another body again but this was the first time they saw a man with the precision of a surgeon he can remove the spirit and leave the victim alive they said who is this where did you bring this doctrine from we thought that when a man is demonized or possessed that man is over but now jesus is saying you can preserve the man by expelling the spirit and jesus rebuked him saying hold thy peace and come out of him i love jesus verse 26 when the unclean spirit had torn him are you seeing some of these characteristics that means it is not unusual now please pay attention i know that again when i speak like this there is always a boundary of balance but it is not unusual to find out that at the process of expelling spirits they can talk through their victims or there can be manifestations it is not unscriptural satan can take advantage of it but it's a very usual occurrence jesus himself showed us here are we together and cried with a loud voice and came out of him 27 we're reading to 28 the bible says they were amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirits and they obey him may they obey you in the name of jesus christ with authority that you can step into a business and someone can say listen i hear you attend koinonia i i know you have spiritual understanding my entire my whole life is come is crumbling and with the wisdom 
of one who has been well trained you look at the situation and you can see the signs you know that this is beyond a sociological problem you can detect the presence of demons and while the person hopes that you will comfort them in their lamentation you will tell them my idea of comfort is not crying with you it's bringing liberty to you and you look at that situation this financial situation in the name of jesus the spirit that is behind it you drive it away and somebody will say my my contract that has not been signed now you know that it's not just a man stopping it behind it there are spirits and they were amazed and they said what is this 28 the last verse now and immediately his fame there is something about authentic biblical deliverance it truly makes noise can I tell you, casting out demons is one of the clearest expression of the superiority of light over darkness. Now, forget about the bad experiences you may have had in the body of Christ. Just allow me to teach you doctrine. Just because you've had bad experiences somewhere, you went to one place or maybe some demonic thing somewhere, I am telling you, if authentic deliverance happens, the testimonies that follow will be too it will be even if you are an introvert you'll be too grateful to keep quiet because you see the way demons operate they operate like an octopus you know how it is with plenty it will usually not touch only one area so there are areas in your life you would not even expect a miracle from but when that one spirit goes it's like wildfire in one day doors can open listen if you are healed in your body of say diabetes it will not affect your finances because this has to do with your body but let one spirit that has been sitting quietly over the many areas of your life i tell you if that one spirit is genuinely fired out of your body and out of your situation things will change most situations that people have hear me are powered by demons if i ask you write your prayer request you can write 30 things you will be surprised that all those 30 things is the same spirit sitting on it so god does not answer one 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 he goes to the root that spirit i'm showing you why casting out demons if done biblically can work wonders I have seen this happen in the life of people they came for prayer apostle this is what is wrong with me bad dreams or whatever it is and of course they will usually have other in order of priority they want to deal with the one they consider to be most important and when they come to me I look at their situation and I know and I tell them you just get ready for testimonies and sometimes just hours after that do you know let me tell you until you are really 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 delivered you don't know how many things Satan is stopping let the deliverance fire of God authentic fire land upon your life and you will see that there were many things that were supposed to have happened to you for your good whereas your area of focus for a miracle is just a job whereas your area of focus is just your health 
you do not know a lot of other things that are piling up in the realm of the spirit blocked by the presence of spirits that's why i told you when deliverance happens the fame the testimonies from it you will see people listing testimonies as if they are lying because one spirit left you see you come for prayer and usually you pray for yourself but the same spirit oppressing you is the one oppressing your elder brother the one oppressing your elder sister so when it leaves you are not the only one who smiles we are here for you come and do what to do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you so you do what you do we need a move Can I tell you this? Let me tell you the truth. As uncomfortable as ministering and casting out demons are, I'm not talking of many of the imbalances I have learned in my life. When love people and you want to help them if you genuinely love people more than your reputation get demons out of their way 
and watch the wonder working power why should a hard-working man not be able to pay the school fees of a child what is it about school fees are you that dull i tell you there is a demon spirit what is it about a young man who begins to work and cannot own a house of him or of his own you are in a city of blessings it's not normal what of those who receive payments they will tell you i got 10 million i got 20 million I'm, I'm a sincere person i love god where the money went to i don't know let me tell you where it went to there are spirits your eyes can only see so much my dear people please take seriously what i'm telling you because this night i assure you by the god of heaven you came that god will bring this thing to an end now please sit down